hello there, YouTube. Man, I just missed it. Is the rooster just a carrion? He's in that barn and is, it's echoing inside there. That's really cool. But anyway, welcome to the 9th of December. It's 45 degrees out here. Absolutely pour down rain. Look, that's what's left in my my tree. Pour down rain last night. Now there's a little spackles of blue skies with a very, very, very light mist out here. What you doing, woman? You waiting for me? She says she's always waiting for me. Always. <laughs> Hot dang, mama. We made it to hump day. Yeah. The humper hump day. Halfway done. Yeah. It didn't rain on us, but definitely everything's wet. Yep. We just missed the fiasco of whatever it was. Yeah. All right. Well, have yourself a wonderful Wednesday. You too. And I'll see you in the passings. Oh, All right. We'll see you. Bye. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. 2016 R1200 GS Adventure. This guy actually traded this thing in on a spider. But man, he's got it. Definitely got her kitted out here. All kinds of whiz bangy things going on here. Um, Adam did the UVI on it. And uh, he wasn't comfortable doing the fork. Ooh, some crazy white balance. He wasn't comfortable doing the fork seal, so I'm doing that. Got the Acro exhaust on there. These guys making it their own. But anyway, I'm gonna bounce, get this thing done. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> I'm done with this thing. I'll roll it off the rack. I don't even look outside. It's raining out here. But, could dry up at any moment as well. I don't want to ride it in the rain at the moment. That gummit. All right, day's not over with yet. I can see what I'm going to next. I think I might know what it is. This might shock you. So you think we had to wait a long time to get parts for that police bike, and that took a while. Four months, five days as of yesterday. 714 of this year I ordered transmission parts for that K1600 the guy bailed out of it and well I, I think he did the smart thing and bought something else I think he bought an RT but um anyway it's it's our it's a store asset now um there's back ordered parts for that transmission that are needed I think until June of 21 May may possibly it could have been in may of 21 at any rate the service director got on the horn with bmw threw a fit because this is you know just money sitting here in the store and this is what i was going to say is going to shock you whole transmission i've never seen a whole transmission for a k1600 before not in a box but uh yeah so most of the stuff that I do have, just gonna get returned. Like this, this is the clutch cover gasket and I I think it has the bolts for the clutch cover in there. I think it's a clutch cover service kit. But uh, yeah, look at that. They are masters of packing stuff. Look at that, all that box. But just imagine what happens to things in shipping. Look at that. That's a whole K1600 transmixer sitting right there. Let's get this thing dug out. You know, I gotta imagine, because BMW doesn't build these, these things are outsourced. I gotta imagine this is how it comes to BMW to be thrown on the assembly line to get added to the motor that they do build. Look at that. How about that? That's pretty dang cool right there. Oh, look at that, it even has the, oh wow, it has the entire reverse bevel gear set up. 
comes with it. Look at that thing packed full of grease. That's how your reverse works. It runs off the starter motor, which means I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, you know what? I won't even have to do that. That thing's pre-assembled. Wow. Man, this thing's all but a plug and play. Been so long since I've done a K1600 transmission. I hope I remember how the bike goes back together. But you know what? It'll come back to me. It's not dry out here, but at least it's not raining. Now at the moment, whoa, rip heaters from heck. Okay. Woo, it's got them daggum beads on there. Man, I don't know how people ride with those things. Besides being uncomfortable, they're just slippery as holy heck. Yeah, that acro sounds real good. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. Beautiful blue skies. I'm riding a GSA. Does life get any better? Oh, look at that. He's got an old Nav 4 or Nav 5 on there. I haven't seen one of them old ones in a while. Oh. We ran across this yesterday, didn't we? Silly of me to assume they'd be... They'd be done by now, huh? Oh, man. As dark and nasty as it was here for a while, this is very pleasing. That's pretty wild, that uh, K1600 transmission man has a reverser gear and all that stuff on it man, it's, like I was saying it's been so long since I've done one of those things I'm gonna probably go um um a couple of times <laughs> putting uh, all the parts back together but at least I don't have to rebuild or reassemble the transmission I have it on my rack now Ryan comes down to help me and I forgot I can easily roll one of them things on by myself he goes, Pops, I don't even know why you drug me down here. He goes, you do realize I didn't even help you. I said, I was wondering if you were back there. And I literally went up there. They were trying to diagnose some Polaris thing that's not working right. Oh, oh she's all bagged up this time of year. And, uh, heck, I could have had the thing on and... Who knows, I could have had the transmission. I stood there for about 15, 20 minutes. Every tech in the store was back there trying to sort this thing out. Try this, try that. What about this? What about that? Is this where I want to go? I think so, yep. old boxers they do sound good with an exhaust especially an acro Whew. what you guys doing there oh, pay attention to little kitty 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 poos a kid come down off of that hill with that little scooter he'd be down before you know it as in down in front of me I can see all the way through that park this time of year. Years ago, this thing was so thick with underbrush, you couldn't see at all. And I guess all kinds of uh, less than friendly things were going on out there. And they came through and just gutted this thing out. It was crazy how clear that was in there. It's slowly starting to build itself back up, but I, I think from time to time they're coming through. Because the amount of time since they've done that, that thing would have just been a jungle in there. So they must be maintaining it. It's a very pleasing park, and there's a nice little... I would take you there, but it's so hard to get back out onto the street. 
But it's a cool little thing. It's got like park bench stuff. It's a nice little thing over there. Look at that. I got a green light. But that scares you at the same time. But watch them runners. Man, that seat with them beads on there are some wholesale uncomfortable you can just stick a 2x12 down there and call it good and the air that breathes through those things literally I feel like my, my high knee is sitting in a pool of water the air just flows right through them beads tell you one thing if you have a hot butt problem put them beads on there <laughs> it'll be gone the air flows through those things like you wouldn't believe literally if you ever like jumped on you thought your seat was dry sitting out there and the sprinkles you sit down and you're like oh and you're, now your butt's all wet that's what it feels like when you're going down the road but the I mean you have no ability to control the bike by the seat you know you squeeze with your legs and you know, you expect a certain amount of stiction from your hiney. It just doesn't exist. Look at this out here in the leaves. Give you a good walk around out here in the daylight of it. Kind of went over this, the Acro. I don't know if that's Turotech, whatever. It's not BMW bag mounts. You know, Saddleman seat, I don't know, front and rear are beads. Highway pegs. Uh, I see some wires going through that you might have Easy Can installed on there as well. Guards over the stock running lights. It's got Denali's, it looks like. GoPro mount. The Bark Busters. The metal ones. I showed you the mirrors with the helmet locks on there. I'm assuming that's helmet locks. I'm sure it's probably what it is. A little extra stash bags. Got that one bracket I see a bunch of people put on. It's pretty cool. Side stand, switch, guard. And the ever cool SW Motec tank bag. Mm, she smells good running too. It's almost like he's got a race gas in here. I got a uh, a low battery in the fob warning. If you guys see the triangle there, that's what that's all about. So I need to run up there and pop a uh, a fob battery in it. Let's not go out the one way. You guys, remember that I shot right down there. Of course, when I pull out of that parking lot, there's nothing there telling me don't take a left. <laughs> At the moment, it is stunning. It's that Mexican restaurant that the smell runs behind the corporate office right up to our store. And it comes rolling through there. It smells so good. Mm, mm, mm. All righty. I'm going to throw a fob battery in this thing right quick and uh, run her upstairs to the sales guys. Let them decide for which they're going to do with this here thing. We so seldom get used BMWs, I don't even know where they put them. I just drive them up there and say, BMW sales guy, here's a used one for you to sort out. Oh, he's got the side stand little extra wide hoofy hoof. All right. Let's sort this fob situation out here. All right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You make sure everything's closed before you take off. I think the guy came down here looking for the stuff, making sure he didn't leave anything one day. But 
There we are. She's a beauty. What the heck? We're facing the wrong direction, Mama. We are. How'd the truck get this way? I don't know. It has I a mind of its own. I think it happened this morning. I I'm think reckoning. So. We're fogged up in here. What I tell you about breathing inside the vehicle? Hi, you must hold your breath until we get home. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> All right, Mama, let's roll out. Sounds good. All right. Well, hello there, YouTube. Look how fast we got from Vancouver to Toledo. I know, in the blink of an eye. Dude, that was the fastest ride ever. You guys probably going, wow. Magical. They sure make that long ride, like, quick. <laughs> I wish it was Wasn't that quick, I can promise you. Oh, I know it. Trick of the camera. It's a real cool trick. I, I turn it off and then I come back on when I'm here. Yeah. You gotta try it sometime. It makes time fly. On video, anyway. <laughs> well, anyway. I think I done said everything I can say today. Oh, you got anything to add? No, I'm more out. She so said she was any... crazy yeah. busy. It's just her and okay. another gal and, and a, new, a new guy that, you know, they're new enough they're, they're not that helpful you know yeah it's a body but you need somebody that can really just jump right in and do everything you know somewhat <laughs> yeah you'll get there just oh yeah they there. always do everybody yeah. starts out the same way not knowing nothing yeah. you can't just like wake up one day and go i know everything yeah i got this it takes time <laughs> yes. anyway i think we're gonna roll on that Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Thursday or Friday. Heck yeah. God, tomorrow's Thursday already. Thank this week seemed to start so slow. And now we're done slipped over the top. We, yeah. We're on the downside of the home. I like that downside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If the weekends would last longer, it'd be really cool. Yeah. It would. Ain't it? Yeah. Sometimes they do. Sometimes you go back to work Monday and going, what did I do? Did I really have a day off <laughs> yeah. or did I just think it? <laughs> All right. Till the morning. You guys take care. Thank you guys for hanging around. See you then. Bye-bye.